I just have to maintain the positive attitude and, and uh, all the things I think about to nurture positive vibrations, you know. So that's my thing, how to take negative. In fact, when I play music, how to take negative and make it positive. And it's, you know, you can get it in the Bible, you can get it from the philosophers, but good things that you know in your life turn. I have a phrase I like to use. It's called, don't deal with the whole, deal with the donut. You can't eat the whole, eat the donut. So my whole thing is, is turn it into positive. Because the same way I was inspired as a kid when I heard whatever record I heard, I said, wow, I like that. It's the same way I felt sitting in the movie theater going off to dreamland. Because we musicians, the best thing we can do is bring the dream into the music, you know? And you're inspired. I, I go mention Sonny right now, Sonny Rollins. When Sonny played, and he plays some little nursery rhyme in the middle of some stuff he's doing, he's remembering his childhood, you know? And I always tell young musicians, one of the best things you can try to be is be a kid. Be a kid when you're playing. You're not some serious heavy duty professor. With no, you're a child doing this thing that gave you pleasure as a, as a kid, which is what happened to me. And I just took that on the bandstand. One day somebody paid me. <laughs> here's, here's some bucks. And it was the beginning of a whole life, you know? Between you and Sonny Rollins and Monk and uh, the people and Dizzy who have brought the Caribbean influence into jazz and, and the West Indian influence into jazz, you are the living history of that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just a, a pleasure and an honor to speak with you because uh, we could go on for, for hours because I know the depth of, of your experience, but also the way you have made sense of it and pulled worlds together when people are putting worlds apart. You're yeah, putting man. worlds together. Yeah. This thing about the opposite of that, pulling people apart, has been, the opposite has been exemplified in Bob Marley when he says one love. It's kind of naive. Not everybody gonna love each other. Well, if you're looking for reasons to be different, there's a billion. But there's something beyond that that can bring people together. And one of them is music that that brings people together. Because there's music that you sit there so intelligent, wonderful, and so over there and angry because you feel the emotion, you know, or knowledge. I know so much, you don't know it, and I'm smarter than you. And the first sitting there, huh? I love playing childish little tunes on the piano, nursery rhymes. Like I said, the old time songs, the, the, cat, the cowboy, you know, and I love this idea. I'm playing and you see in the audience, you know, middle-aged or elderly people come from, you know, loving music from the forties and then young dreadlock brothers and hipsters and all these different people and you play some music, one love, and everybody friendly. And, and that's what can happen, you know, that I've seen through my life. 